Hype Fury or Typefully, which is better? Both tools have their pros and cons, so in this video, I will go over each one so you know which tool is best for you. So let's get started. So let's first compare the composers. So to compose a Twitter X post on Hype Fury, just click on Create, and this right sidebar will slide out where you can create your Twitter X post. Now, as you type, you can see this circle fill in to show you how much more characters you have left. Now, if you want to create a Twitter X thread, just click on this plus button to add another tweet and you can continue writing. And you can also click on show preview to see how your Twitter X post will look like. I like how you can delay between posts as well to make it look a little bit more natural as if you are on your phone right there and then. You also have a few other options here. So you can add a thread finisher, add a DM me button, add some media, a poll, emojis, and you can categorize all of your posts so that you can turn them into recurrent posts right here. So whenever you schedule a category by day and time, all of the posts that you've categorized will automatically get published. So this is a very easy way to make sure your Twitter X profile is continuously active and posting uh, great content every single day. Now let me open up a draft that I created earlier. So these are all of the drafts that I have. And if you want to edit a draft, just click on this edit draft icon and then you can edit your Twitter X thread right here. I added an image. You can also add an image description. And if you want to preview your Twitter X thread, just click on show preview so you can see the thread without anything else above or below it. Now, I wish you can view your media in a larger scale, but um, that's basically all you have available. Now, if you want to schedule this, just click on schedule and you can post it now, schedule it for the next free slot or choose a specific time. Now let's jump over to Typefully. So this is how you can compose a Twitter X post on Typefully. So you can type your content right here. And similarly to Hype Fury, you can see how many characters you have left. I do like how they actually show you the character count so you can better keep track. Now, as you continue to type, you can see exactly where it cuts off. You can have Typefully split this post automatically. So now it turns into a Twitter thread and you can continue writing. You can also turn this into a long form post as well. So if you have Twitter blue, you can create a long form post and publish it that way instead of a Twitter X post thread. Now with Hype Fury, let's go back here and let's click on create again and let's try to create that exact same uh, Twitter X post. So if you continue typing, uh, it kind of creates a new tweet. It doesn't show you exactly where it cuts off. Now with Typefully, you do have the option to add a post below it, add some media, and you also have access to Vesper AI, which I think is amazing. So you can use their AI to help you write your Twitter X posts. So let's just say I want to edit this. You have tons of options right here. You can fix the grammar, improve writing. I personally like make it punchier and rewrite as a thread start. So if I want to make this punchier, click on that and Vesper will rewrite my copy and make it punchier. You can replace it, insert it or retry. Let's try to make this into a Twitter thread start. And here we go. So you can see it has a couple of emojis and I really like the end where it says ready to dive in, keep reading with a thread emoji. So if I like it, we can click on replace and here we go. This is my Twitter X thread start. And if you click on more options, you can add a poll or move your posts up or down or delete the tweet. Now, let me show you a Twitter X thread I created earlier. So this is how the entire thread looks like. And you can actually click on the image and it'll show you the full size image after you click it, which I think is very helpful. You can tag people and add your description. Now, if you click on this eye icon, you have three options in terms of how to display this Twitter X thread. So right now I have it as mobile and this really is how it will look like on your mobile device. I've tested it and for the most part, it looks exactly the same in terms of how many lines each post will have. You also have high fidelity, which is more for desktop and you also have minimal. So if you don't want your handle or profile photo showing and just 
want to look at the text, you can do minimal. But I personally like mobile, so I know exactly how it will look like on mobile. And then you can schedule this, uh, schedule it for the next free slot, or publish it right there and then. You can also set up an auto retweet where it will automatically retweet according to how many hours or days you set it up for. There's also the auto plug as well, where Typefully will reply automatically to your thread if it gets great engagement according to how many likes or retweets you set it up for. And there's also the auto DM feature. So you can set it up to where you ask people to follow you and comment something and Typefully will automatically DM them any type of link or message you want. Now these three features are available on Hype Fury as well. So for the auto DMs, you can click on auto DM and start an auto DM campaign. So this is the DM your users will receive and this is the tweet and you can set your requirements for getting sent a DM and then what should they reply to receive the DM. And for the auto retweets, you can click on power up and you have the tweet booster. So you can automatically retweet your own tweets to give them more visibility. And if you click on settings, you can set the specific delay, what criteria Hype Fury should follow in order to retweet your posts. Now, when it comes to brainstorming posts, both Hype Fury and Typefully offer you tons of prompts to get your creative juices flowing. So if you click on prompts, you do have access to tons of prompts right here. Okay, so these are all of the various prompts. View your personal best tweets if you wish, or pick a specific topic like marketing, making money online, uh, writing, investing, thread hooks, and so forth. So you can review this list of posts and if you want to use one, just click on reuse tweet and then you can edit this prompt however you want to and then post it. Now for Typefully, you do have a couple of options. So if you click on this star icon, you can get personalized post ideas. Now Vesper AI analyzes your content you've published in the past and gives you some topics that are similar to the ones you've posted about before. So this talks about Gemini's early adopters, exploring meta AI's features, channel shout outs, authority building, freelancing, mindset. So all of these ideas are tailored to my account. So if you want to use one idea, just click on new draft and it'll open up for you to start writing your post. Typefully also has tons of writing prompts as well. So if you click on that light bulb icon, you can view all of these um, writing prompts and the categories um, are a little bit different than Hype Fury. So you have provide value, be open and vulnerable, inspire people. You can also search for a prompt or pick a random prompt. And if you want to use a prompt, just click on the one you want and then it'll open up this draft and it also shows you the writing prompt as well so you don't forget it. You can also view some examples. So these are three examples for this specific writing prompt about Monday. And then you can also replace with a random prompt as well if you want to write about something different. Now when it comes to engaging and engagement, Hype Fury has some really nice features. So let me show you their engagement builder. So this will basically allow you to engage with a list of users you've uploaded, okay? So Hype Fury will automatically show you their latest posts and you can reply to them. You can also like them, retweet them, or like and post an emoji. So this is an easy way to keep track and engage with your Dream 100 or the people that you really want to network with or start a conversation with. You also have the My Mentions feature. So whenever someone mentions you, you will see that mention right here and you can reply to them. So this makes it very easy for you to engage with people who mentioned you without going to the Twitter X app. Typefully does not have the engagement builder or the My Mentions feature, only Hype Fury. Now Hype Fury also has uh, time-based sales. So if you are promoting a specific product or you have a big launch, you can create a time-based sale. So you can create a tweet and set a sale start time and sale duration. So that tweet will only be up on your profile for a specified number of hours. And you can also set end of sale reminders as well. Before the sale ends, you can have Hype Fury tweet 90, 60, 45, 30, 15, and five minutes before the sale ends. So Hype Fury will tweet out 
you know, one hour, 45 minutes, 30 minutes. And once the sale ends, the tweet will get deleted. So that's where the time based sale comes in. So the tweet is only available, uh, you know, one, two or four hours and Hypefury will send out reminder tweets below that main uh, tweet. And once the sale ends, it'll co be completely disappeared. Unfortunately, in terms of the sale duration, you only have these three options. Now, you also have evergreen posts as well, which is similar to the recurrent posts, but this one is more general. So, so you have a more generalized list of Twitter X posts here, and they will be retweeted at most once a week. So the goal of the evergreen posts feature is just to make sure your account is continuously updated with posts that performed uh, well in the past. And you can search for specific posts as well by a number of retweets, likes, impressions, replies, and profile clicks. Okay, so those are all of the pros of Hypefury and Typefully. Okay, now I wanna talk about the UI UX. Now with Hypefury, I think the UI UX can be improved. They actually just updated their UI. So what you see here is actually uh, relatively new, um, but I think it can be sometimes a little hard to uh, navigate and use. Compared to Typefully, it just looks so nice. It's buttery smooth. You can really just focus on the writing, okay? So I think Typefully is all about focusing on writing excellent Twitter X threads so you can churn out highly engaging content on your account, okay? So I really like the UI UX for uh, Typefully. So this is your queue. You can view posts you've published via Typefully. You can also click on the sidebar and you can see some statistics about your post. You can add tags and you can also add any notes that you want to keep in mind as you are writing your Twitter X thread. You can also share this with your team as well. So if you click on show comments, you can add some comments and then click on share and collaborate. So you can share a link with others where they can provide their own input as well before you finalize it and then post it. Now, another thing I really like about Typefully are their analytics. Now, their analytics dashboards, I think, are some of the best I've seen out of any tool, okay? So you can see a high-level executive overview showing you, um, depending on the time frame, um, how many um, posts you've published, impressions, profile clicks, followers you've received. Uh, you can see how many followers you've received on a day-to-day -day basis. And I really like how you can specify the exact date on when you want to start your analytics and end your analytics. You can see your impressions, engagement rates, and all of these nice bar graphs and your day's streak. Now, this is truly what makes me publish every single day on X, and that's to maintain my streak. So right now I have a 52-day streak, and my best one was 73 days. So I want to beat that. You can see the engagement during the day, and they tell you the suggested best time to tweet according to the engagement you've received in the past. And you can see a list of all the posts on your account, regardless of whether or not you've published them on Typefully. So you can sort by engagement rates, uh, by link clicks, profile clicks, and so forth. And if you want to read the actual post, just click on the post to view the first post, if it's a thread or the entire post, if it's just like a single post. Now let's jump over to Hypefury and this is their analytics. And for whatever reason, the analytics is not wanting uh, to show up. Okay, so I just right clicked and opened the analytics in a new tab. So this is the analytics. So as you could see, dashboards are not as nice. So you can view data for the last seven days up until the last 90 days. And that's really it. You can't go any further than that to start and end. You cannot pick specific dates. Uh, you know, let's click on 90 days. So these are the graphs here. So you can view the engagements per tweet you've received, the engagement rate. But as you can see, it's not as clear, right? You don't know exactly the engagement number if you hover over any of these dates, the impression numbers, you can view the tweets, so you can sort by impressions, by engagement, and so forth. Um, now, you can't really view the tweet, you actually need to click on the date, and then it'll open up Twitter X, 
where you can view the tweet on Twitter X. Now, these graphs are only for tweets. You can also view graphs specifically for your followers. So this line graph shows you how many followers I have over the past 90 days. Now, let's compare this line graph with Typefully, and let's scroll up. So as you could see, this line graph just looks 100 times better than Hypefury, right? I really like the Typefully analytics and then followers daily growth are in this bar graph here. Okay, so let's move on. Now, one last thing I wanna talk about in terms of Hypefury is their history. So if you click on history, you can view all of the posts that you've published on your account regardless of what you used to publish them. So if you've published them natively on the X app, it'll show up in this history view. Now with Typefully, you don't have that access. So I could only view the posts that I've published via Typefully. So if I want to review a specific post that I've published, I only have access to the ones that I created with Typefully. But with Hypefury, I could view every single one. And if I want to say, for example, um, retweet it or duplicate it and edit it, I do have that option in Hypefury. But unfortunately with Typefully, I don't have that option here. To get that option, you can go to analytics and scroll down to the posts where you can view all of your posts and then you can click on it. And then if you want, you can uh, copy and paste it and then edit it or repost it or whatever you wish, okay? So that's the only way to view your posts is by going into the analytics dashboards. Okay, so let's do a recap. So these are all of the pros and cons of Hypefury and Typefully, okay? So with Hypefury, you can tag posts with categories for the recurrent posts, the engagement builder, okay, on the left-hand side here, and you also have the mentions. You can take a look at who mentions you and engage with them. You have time-based sales, evergreen posts. You have tons of writing prompts you can use to brainstorm your content creation. Now, in terms of the cons, the UI UX, I think, needs work. The analytics needs work, and it's hard to see media and visualize your posts, okay? So let's go back to the drafts. And if you click on this thread here, it's just a little harder to visualize. Even if you click on show preview, it won't look exactly like this on Twitter. And you can't click on the media to get a bigger view of your media. Now with Typefully, the UI UX, it looks really good. Uh, the analytics dashboards are Excellent. Vesper AI is very good as well. You do get personalized post ideas and writing prompts. Now, one con of Typefully is you don't have any historical posts lists, okay? So which one should you pick? So if you want to really focus on engagement and growing your account and making sure your account stays fresh with continuous posts, then I think Hypefury has more features that allow you to do just that. But you will need to deal with their UI UX and their analytics shortcomings. But if you are someone who is really into tools that look and feel good, then Typefully is the one for you. And if you really want to just focus on writing good copy and focusing on drafting the best posts, the best threads, and using Vesper AI to improve on your content, then Typefully is the tool for you. And you can track your performance with their analytics dashboards much more easily as well, okay? So both have their pros and cons, but if you are a writer and you really wanna focus on drafting excellent threads, go for Typefully. But if you want to just focus on engagement, growing your audience, and just keeping your account continuously updated, then go with Hypefury. All right, so that does it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button to let me know if you did. Subscribe to my channel if you like these types of videos. And if you want to check out my other videos, feel free to click any of the ones on the screen. And with that said, thank you, and I'll see you in the next one.